The Tagalong tent zips straight onto the awning of the Hilux. It's not designed to be freestanding, although with a couple of extra poles you can make it so. 200 watts of solar power is more than ample to run the fridge, camp lights and charge camera batteries. I managed to bring two of the incorrect sized poles for the fly sheet, but I'll sort that out. Before you get upset about me having the gas stove next to the fuel filler, it was just a temporary placement. The tent itself is spacious, airy and above all totally waterproof against tropical rain. The camp stretcher and airbed will make for a comfortable night's sleep. Extra panels can be added to the awning to provide additional shade. The conditions this day were uncomfortable. A temperature nudging 40 degrees, locals looking for a drink and very slow fishing. I caught numbers of small silver perch, carp and a few little redfin. The drought has hit hard in South Australia as in many other mainland states. Kangaroos have very little to eat and come down to the water to munch on dry reeds and get a drink. They were quite happy to get right into the water and try and cool off. After a good night's sleep, I packed up camp and moved further down the creek to try some swampy areas for larger carp. This small carp must have thought he was a trout. He came right out of the water. It's handy when you have your own carp disposal unit on hand. He was very wary at first, but once he grabbed it, he struggled a bit with the size of the carp, but after several attempts, he finally got it down. I was in the process of packing up when there was a commotion in the gum tree above me. A young, not yet fledged rosella had fallen or been pushed out of its nest. Rather than leave it in the heat and at the mercy of the ants, I picked it up. Eventually I put it in a nearby hollow, but I fear it hadn't got long to live. Mm.